and welcome back to Couture Chronicles. If you're new here, my name is Daisy and I'm on a journey to make myself the most magical, sparkly, fancy dresses, all from scratch, because I definitely can't afford to buy the real thing. Last episode, we started putting the dress back together again. If you haven't seen that yet, you can check that out right here. And today is so close to getting the dress finished. And I have my gorgeous little sister, Rukins. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, she is here to help me capture the final dress because she is a great photographer. However, before we do that, we actually need to get it finished. So without further ado, let's get stuck into the episode and get this dress done. Right, okay, so plan of action, what we need to finish yeah. is uh, we need to hem, <laughs> need to uh, sew the beaded panel onto backing fabric, right, and then sew it on here, um, and also need to make the entire back diamond. Um, have we already done all that? No, no, <laughs> no. So that is what we're gonna do. <laughs> okay, so starting with the back diamond, so my original one is part of the the main fabric, um, but I kind of want to separate the two and I don't feel like I've got enough to just lop it off at the end there and put this on the frame. I don't know, I might be wrong. So I'm considering reusing this bit from the original dress and transferring the back diamond onto here. I decided to go with option two in the end. So I unpicked that piece of organza, ironed it out, drew an entirely new back diamond on it and got it strung up onto the embroidery frame, ready to go. Cool, so Rukins is having a go at doing the back diamond and I am going to iron the backing fabric for the main beaded panel and try and assemble those together. After giving that silk a good iron, I'm pinning the two pieces together and then I settle down for about two hours of hand sewing until I realise that actually this is the one section which I could actually be doing on the machine, which would take a load less time. So I grab my sewing machine out and zigzag stitching the two together and I just move the needle point all the way over to the inside edge to try and get as close to the beads as possible and that worked a charm. Five and a half hours later, I've just finished backing the beaded panel. I've still got to sew it onto the dress. And uh, Rukins, how are you feeling after five and a half hours? I can even do a job, honestly. Uh, I don't think anyone is employing me to do this full time. <laughs> <laughs> So Daisy, it is 1.30 in the morning, I have finished the sequins-ish, there's some gaps that I need filling in in the morning but it is 1.30 and I'm so proud of myself that I've managed to get this much sequining done. I was struggling sewing this on to the mannequin so I've taken it off. Um, so that I can sew it flat, but I am going to get like a chopping board or something to put inside so I don't accidentally sew through and sew it all together. Okay, it's 10 past 12 on Sunday. I have been sewing the beaded panel on all morning. I haven't got in the shower, I haven't done nothing. I've just been beading. Um, it's finally finished, so I can move on with the next stage. And um, I have been using this whiteboard. <laughs> 
as a guard to stop uh, me sewing through to the other side and sewing both sides of the dress together. Um, I can recommend. Definitely use a whiteboard. It's great. Um, cool. Let's let's see what we've got to do next. <laughs> After a shower and a quick tidy up, I start the process of backing the back diamond, which is exactly the same as the front geometric panel. And I was desperate for a change of scenery, but I didn't want to sacrifice any more time to not sewing, so I just took it out with me. Okay, so the time is 3.30 p.m. on a Sunday. Back Diamond is only just finished. So I'm gonna sew this on next. And um, it's getting quite late. And we are burning through usable daylight. So after I've done the Back Diamond, I'm gonna have to skip doing the hem and just crack on getting the photos taken before Rukins has to leave to go back home. So yeah. Off we go. Okay, so looking at the back, I because the cape is this end, I was going to stitch the back diamond to that end and have a popper there. Um, however, because this side is more sort of looser than, than that end, I'm now thinking I'm going to stitch it to this side and then popper it on there. Yeah. there all sewn in and done so I stitched it all the way along this side and then this one is boop got a little popper ah, I can't put that back one-handed but yeah here we go feeling a little bit delirious at this point uh, sleep deprived and propping my eyelids open with um, picks but uh, yeah I mean the dress is pretty much pretty much there so I'm gonna go now and do my hair and do my makeup and let's get some pretty pictures taken Tons of fun shooting the photos, just being so daft, channeling our inner Marilyn, <laughs> just just being silly. It's amazing that we got anything yeah, useful. But here are a couple of my favourites. I think she did an epic job. Project one in the bag. I can't believe it. I mean, someone pinch me, please. I'm finding it a little bit hard to believe because I'm pretty sure it was April last year that I started making this project. So it has been a whole year on and off to get it completed. And there were definitely points where I thought, oh, this is never gonna happen. But it's just, look at it. I mean, I'm, I'm just so chuffed that I managed to go from this to this. Now we just gotta find somewhere to wear this baby out to again, because she definitely needs her moment of glory now that she's whole and not falling to pieces. Now that my first dress is all done, that does mean we're going on to bigger, beautiful, more glittery things. If anyone has got any great ideas of projects to do next, pop a comment down below. I'd love to hear all your suggestions. In the meantime, have a wonderful week. Keep being fabulous and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Okay, so, oh, okay. so you have to smile at, at that Smile dot. at the dot. Sorry, okay. ah. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs>
Okay, can you go to your right? My left, your right. My right, your left. Other way. Uh -huh. <laughs>